This is the solution to written homework 42. <clears throat> so the first exercise is an integral. So we're integrating an expression with respect to x, and this expression depends on x and y. Uh, because we're integrating with respect to x, that means that uh, the y's are constant. So we could factor out that y, and then we would get integral. And I'm going to write x is 1 to x is 5 of e to 4x uh, plus y squared dx. <coughs> Okay, and because we're going to integrate with respect to x uh, and we have these constant limits, that means that in the end the answer should not depend on x anymore. Okay, so I see another, <coughs> another algebraic simplification that can occur. And that is that due to the laws of exponents, this is e to 4x multiplied by e, the exponential, of y squared. And then this factor, e to y squared, that can also come out. Because it's constant with respect to x. So this would be y, e to y squared, and then integral from x is 1 to x is 5 of e to 4x. And now, this integral, this integral, is uh, we can use the fundamental theorem because the corresponding antiderivative is one of the antiderivatives that we know. So this would be y, uh, y exponential y squared, and then e to 4x divided by 4 evaluated from x is 1 to x is 5. <clears throat> so that's y e to y squared. Uh, and then I'll factor out the division by 4. And plug in those values. Exponential of 20 minus exponential of 4. So that's the answer to the to part A. Notice that it depends on y, but no longer depends on x. <clears throat> OK, so we're being requested to um, perform a double integral over a rectangular region. So the region, if you were to plot it in the xy plane, <clears throat> it goes from x is 0 to x is 2. And then from y is 0 to y is so this is the region R. So the double integral over the <clears throat> over a rectangular region, we can use Fubini's theorem. which says that we can convert a double integral to an iterated integral. And because it's a rectangle, we can do it in any order that we like. So <coughs> I'll make the x's outside. So x is 0 to x is 2 integral. y is 0 to y is 3. <coughs> this expression, x squared 
plus 4y cubed dy dx. So what's important is that notice uh, that the nesting is correct like an onion. So because y's are on the inside, this differential is inside. And because x's are on the outside, this differential is on the outside. Okay, so that's the iterated integral. <coughs> so let's evaluate it. So that's integral from x is 0 to x is 2. And then let's use the fundamental theorem here. <coughs> that would be x squared y plus y to 4 evaluated from y is 0 to y is 3 dx. Conveniently, one of the evaluation points is 0. <coughs> so that would be integral x is 0 to x is 2. And then this expression evaluated at 3 is 3x squared and then plus 3 to 4 is 81. And then when you evaluate this at 0, you get 0. So dx. <coughs> and so we can use the fundamental theorem on this integral. That would be x cubed plus 81x evaluated from 0 to 2. So I drop the x equal because I'm not in danger of confusing which variable is which because there's only one now. Conveniently, one of the evaluation spots is 0. So this would be 8, which is 2 cubed, plus 162, 81 times 2, which is 170. And that's the answer.